tardes, es mi amén Niger, en tormenta de arena, válgame. 2 de la tarde, hace 20 minutos salió un solazo. Wow. This is kind of cool, kind of weird. Completamente tupidos de arena, tormenta de arena en mi amén Niger. Ay, chora, vos prié. ¿Sí va a prié? Madre mía. Swarms of desert locusts have been ravaging crops in the Middle East, Eastern Africa and also in Pakistan and India. It's the worst outbreak in 27 years. The crop-destroying insects search for green areas to satiate their enormous appetite. Although locusts don't pose a direct danger to humans, the UN Food Agency says the swarms create a major threat to food security in the affected regions. If the weather you know, continues to be favorable for the locusts, you know, good rainfall, basically, um, those locust numbers, yes, they will continue to, to increase. And you, you, you have to think about, of course, in East Africa, it's already a very vulnerable area. You know, they had three years of droughts, they had a, a year of rainfall. So, you know, a, a locust and then coronavirus, um, in addition, you know, to already this, this you know, kind of fragile um, uh, area, it makes it very, very challenging and that this is an unprecedented threat, you know, to food security and livelihoods. And that's exactly what it is. Um, you know, the people are just, you know, below the level of famine. It's not famine, of course, you know, we're not in that situation. Um, but, you know, this is something we want to prevent. We don't want to, you know, um, have a famine. So that, that is why, you know, all of these efforts, the appeals by, by the FL for, for financial assistance from the international community is so important. When millions of locusts attack crop fields, they can destroy everything within hours. The insects originate in dry lands where the climate forces them to gather in small patches of green land. When it starts raining, they start breeding abundantly. The threat of food insecurity has led some uh, for the, to call for a joint response. This year, in addition to the COVID pandemic, a new challenge is facing the people of the South Asia and Southwest Asia region, that of desert locusts. India has suggested to Pakistan that both countries coordinate locust control operations along the border and that India can facilitate supply of the pesticide Malathion to Pakistan. Also in Pakistan this year, um, there is um, breeding in the Indus Valley which is very unusual and in, in the Punjab plains up, up near the capital, Islamabad. And, and normally breeding doesn't happen in, in these areas, um, but this year it did because last summer there was such large breeding um, on both sides of the India-Pakistan border that um, some of it was quite late. And so the locusts, um, it was too cold for them to move to, to the coastal plains of Iran. So they, they only made it to the Indus Valley and, that, and that's why they stayed there. So all of this means um, that more locusts will be coming um, into the, the desert areas along both sides of the India and Pakistan border. Um, they've already started, in fact. Um, India's already received some swarms earlier this month. Um, and this will continue for, for this month, um, for next month, and probably into July as well. So it's, it's like a successive waves of, of swarms coming. It's not just for one night or one week, but it's, it's going to be over a, a number of weeks and months. This is Sky, Sky 9, and Jasmine, this is wow. a, a fire going on there. Yeah, the second or even third one that we've seen pop up just over a matter of hours this evening. And look at those palm trees on fire. So, again, this is Boyle Heights, and I, I think we're hearing near Soto Street. North Soto is what we're hearing in L.A. at this wow. time. Wow, okay, we don't know how many acres at this point, but uh, the last one we brought you was Hacienda Heights, so obviously this is now west. Uh, Hacienda Heights, they had gotten that one under control. So these firefighters are busy, and I know at night... Uh, it, you know, it looks very dramatic. Uh, we're not hearing of any evacuations. 
uh, or if it's burning close to any homes, but... You see the, uh, the telephone pole to the left there that's on fire? Oh, that is one. Don't have to tell you this, another hot day has firefighters on high alert. Crews are already working to put out a fire in the Sepulveda Pass. CBS 2's Candace Crone has an update. Cell phone video captured the intense flames that erupted in the hills of the Sepulveda Pass overnight. More than 200 firefighters were called in. Some hiked steep terrain to keep the 50 acre fire from spreading to nearby homes. A woman driving down the 405 spotted the flames and couldn't believe it was happening again. Just seeing how big the flames were and how much space was already on fire. Um, it was it was scary. This area is no stranger to fires. In fact, today's actually started on an old burn scar from the 2017 Skirball fire. It just brought back memories of underwear. This is the first time, you know, during the last fire in October. Last October, the Getty fire burned more than 600 acres in nearby Brentwood and forced thousands to evacuate. This is bare. That's Winnie. Philip Abbey, who owns a kennel, rescued several dogs, including Bear the Husky, from both the Skirball and Getty fires. He and others are worried about another fire sparking in the area and say it's everyone's job to help prevent that from happening. Just be aware, you know, cigarettes out the window, not a good thing. If you see how many fires start by highways and roads. As for today's fire, no homes were burned and the cause is under investigation. In Bel Air, Candace Crone, CBS 2 News.